if an SEO wants to try something, how do they know it's not going to create a negative impact ah. for the business? Yeah. So I often encourage people to, uh, if the site is large enough, I, in, I encourage them to try on a subdirectory. Just we're making changes here. Or uh, I had a client, we made, we made changes on a single page. You know, uh, they had like 600 pages. Single page was an important page. And it took quite a, the work we had to do was quite a bit for that page, new copy, um, new templates, so, you know, all that stuff. But we proved it out. Uh, we proved it on that page and we expanded to six pages. And now, you know, if that's successful, we're going to expand to, you know, 130 pages. So that's typically how we do it. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to roll a, 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 a change out throughout the entire site and just watch what happens. Give it enough time. That's one one mistake I see people make is they roll out a change, you know, traffic dips 10%. They're like, oh, pull it back. No, give it, give it some weeks, you know, a month or two for the signals to propagate fully. Then we'll pull it back. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, you don't, don't go all in all the time. 